Kevin Elizabeth, a wedding photographer and bridal boutique owner based in San Diego. And today's video, I'm going to be talking about several decor and miscellaneous tips related to sweetheart tables. If you do not know what a sweetheart table is, it is a table for two, and that is the couple getting married where they sit at a table during the reception by themselves as opposed to a head table where the couple might sit with their family or bridal party. Now in this video, I'm going to be giving some like decor related tips and some miscellaneous tips related to the sweetheart table to give you guys the best photos. And then for the decor related tips, I'm gonna be talking about some options that you guys have if you want to really make your photos kind of extra and invest just maybe a little bit more in your budget, anywhere from like $12 more to maybe $50 more. Some of the things that I'm gonna be talking about for decor related things are going to be zero cost so there's going to be no additional costs for you guys so my channel is kind of related to all budgets um, I have never claimed to be a DIY or low budget channel so I always want to give a mix of tips whether it is no additional cost or some additional or a lot additional cost so I just want to make that very clear that I have never ever claimed to be a low budget or DIY budget or whatever channel I want to always be giving tips that can relate to any budget out there in the world there are plenty of low budget channels out there that are amazing and those are really great but again I have never claimed to be that so I want to always give all kinds of tips out there to those of you because not everybody out there is a lower budget bride or groom there are tons of you out there across all budgets so in today's video I'm going to be giving tips that are kind of spread across um, all of those things so some of the tips in this video are going to be like no additional costs some additional costs a little bit more additional costs but giving you guys different ideas for your sweetheart table um, because I know some of you are interested in little things that you can do to just elevate your photos a little bit whether it be um, a little bit more extra or a kind of a medium a bit extra so let's go ahead and jump into these tips one thing I do want to say about the sweetheart table is if you think that you might miss spending extra time with your bridal party or your family maybe if you're somebody who doesn't live in the same city as your bridal party or family then I would say skip the sweetheart table and opt for a head table instead I know for my husband and me we actually live very far away from our friends and family and we wanted to sit at a table with our bridal party so we did not want to have a sweetheart table we did not want to be alone we wanted to spend as much time with our friends as possible so we sat at a table with our bridal party now if you are also somebody who does not like being in the spotlight then I would also recommend having a head table because when there's going to be toast going on everybody's gonna be looking at the toaster and you during that part of the wedding reception and so if you kind of feel like all eyes on you is gonna make you uncomfortable then you might want to be seated around more people closely rather than having just you at the table. So that's another tip that I want to bring up because if you don't want all eyes on you in the spotlight, maybe a sweetheart table is not going to be the best thing for you. One major tip that I have for your sweetheart table decor is on the actual table itself, keep the decor kind of low because when it comes time to toast, when the photographer's taking pictures of you guys at the table, you don't want the decor to block your faces. I have actually at at least two weddings had to move the decor off the table because I could not see the couple's faces during the toast. Now I knew this was gonna be a problem so I did it ahead of time. I didn't do it like in the middle of the toast. I first saw this problem and moved the flowers, the candles or whatever off of their like table in front of their faces ahead of time. But some photographers might not see this problem. And so in all of your pictures, it might be like half your face is showing and you don't want that to happen. So my tip to you is to keep the decor below the face or below the neck level because you don't want your faces blocked in every single toast reaction photo because that would be really sad if you could not see your reactions in all of those beautiful photos of the toast. So that's just one major tip for you guys to consider. One small tip that's totally not decor related but it's more miscellaneous is if you guys can go ahead and plan for your catering team to have little plates um, pre-plated for appetizers to be on your sweetheart table before the reception starts so that you guys already have a little bit of food to snack on 
because a lot of times the couple is so busy that during cocktail hour they don't get a chance to eat so that when you come right into your reception and you sit down there's already little snacks for you to eat that's a really good idea because you're probably going to be starving and you're going to want some little food to snack on before you get a chance to eat your dinner because it is really hard to find time to eat on your actual wedding day even once you get your food there's going to be people coming up to you at your sweetheart table because one of the downsides of having a sweetheart table is that there's no like boundaries around you like no other people to guard you at like a head table that you're just open for anybody to come up to you people will be coming up to you throughout the night talking to you you're not going to have much of a chance to eat your dinner so by having those little snacks at your table pre-plated for when you arrive to your table is going to be really helpful all right on to the decor section of the sweetheart table now a couple of ideas i'm going to have for you guys i'm going to show lots of pictures while i'm talking about this you can have arrangements on the table itself you can also have ground arrangements all around the floor surrounding the sweetheart table you can choose to have one of these or both of these it can be really lovely also some of these can be repurposed so if you're like I want to save some money you can have some arrangements from the ceremony brought into the sweetheart table I am all about repurposing it's not only friendly for your budget it's also better for the environment so less flowers are wasted so you can definitely bring these in you can also have some ceremony arrangements if they're really big so say you had some asymmetrical arches or maybe even a circular arrangement you can have that be brought in as your sweetheart table backdrop which would be really pretty and super impactful so that's a way to make your sweetheart table look extra luxury but you didn't spend on any additional flowers you're just repurposing so your florist will be moving these during cocktail hour behind your sweetheart table and boom you have like an incredible super decked out sweetheart table without spending any additional money on flowers by repurposing and that costs you no extra money which is incredible now one really awesome thing you guys can do is have have a fun color linen or maybe even a patterned linen on your sweetheart table which is going to cost you maybe a couple dollars more maybe about twelve dollars more not too much more just for a single table rather than having a standard white linen so most tables at weddings have a standard white linen because that is the cheapest possible option so it's like a white polyester linen and that's what tables have super cheap option it's the standard option and to upgrade to a colorful linen is usually a couple dollars more and so a lot of people don't do it because they would have to do or they think they have to do every single table but if you're only doing one table it's just going to cost you a couple dollars more but it's so fun just to have it for your sweetheart table you could choose whatever your wedding colors are and pick that color for your sweetheart table and boom you have a really fun colorful table and your photographer is going to be taking a lot of pictures of your sweetheart table Table, and now you have the main focal table with a super colorful linen which is really fun and a cool way to elevate your photos with only spending a couple dollars or maybe a dozen dollars more on just one table and that's awesome so you can do that which is really really fun and then if you want to go ahead and like up your wedding table more for your sweetheart table you could rent upgraded chairs so instead of having maybe shivari chairs or a folding chairs you could rent like oak louis chairs or if you had folding chairs Chairs, you could rent shivari chairs so whatever you do you could have just two of your chairs be upgraded so I had a couple once who had white folding chairs for all of her guests which are the pretty much cheapest wedding chairs you could rent they're maybe like three to four dollars per chair at least in San Diego and they rented really expensive chairs for just the two of them that were like twenty four dollars each so you can really go crazy with your wedding chairs you could just have two of them and you guys can like sit like royalty in your two chairs and just have really fancy chairs so you can start to see what happens when you just upgrade options just for your own table you can spend just a little bit more whether it's like twelve dollars more or like fifty dollars more just for the two of you you're only doing it for two people just spending a little bit more if you want to you're only upgrading for the sweetheart table where your pictures are focused just to have yourselves feel a little bit more luxe for you obviously if you don't want to do this you don't have to but instead of feeling like you have to upgrade for everybody you're only upgrading for yourselves and not only are you getting pictures of this and it like feels really cool in your pictures you also feel like you're treating yourselves and you're only doing it for just the two of you so your costs aren't really going up 
that much. And obviously, if you feel like it's worth it for you, then by all means do it. And now you could do all of these things or you could just do one of these things. So maybe you only have a couple extra dollars and you just do like a fun, colorful linen. Or maybe you're like, I wanna spend 100 extra dollars on just a sweetheart table. And so you get some extra fancy chairs and you get extra fancy linen and that's what you do. And you're like super cool with that. Now, another option that you guys have is to upgrade your tabletop options. So you get some fancy cups and some fancy plates. So if you're wanting to get upgraded tabletop rentals, so when I say tabletop, I mean like plates, glasses, forks, knives, flatware, that kind of thing. One thing you're going to have to consider is whether you're going to hit the minimum rental amount for that tabletop company. Now, some companies only do tabletop rentals and some companies have tabletops and furniture and other things. So if you're already getting rentals from a company and they just so happen to have tabletop options, then great, you probably already hit their minimum. So that will be awesome and you can deck out your tabletop for just the sweetheart table and that can be a really fun option to just have upgraded things for just the two of you. But if you are not already getting rentals from a company that offers tabletop, you might not be able to get upgraded tabletop options for your sweetheart table because you won't hit the minimum for just two place settings. And if that happens, then what I would actually recommend is maybe you have to go out and buy some options from like Target or somewhere really cute. And so you buy some options for just two place settings for the two of you. Now that might not be ideal, but that might be the only way that you can actually get a really zhuzhed up place setting for your sweetheart table is to buy them because you're not going to hit the minimum because sometimes minimums can be 300, 400, 500 dollars and you're not going to hit that for two place settings if you're only getting place settings for two people from a rental company. So you might have to just go and buy it and you can probably buy two place settings that are really fancy for a fairly reasonable amount of money and obviously you get to keep it. Um, so that might be something that you want to do if having upgraded place settings is really important to you and you can't hit the minimum with a company in your area. All right, so those are my tips for the sweetheart table. So a lot of the things that I've talked about, you can repurpose. And again, like I've talked about this in so many of my weddings, like upgrading for just the head table. The same thing applies for a sweetheart table. You can upgrade for just the two of you and it's not going to break the budget. Again, some of these things are only gonna cost you like 12 additional dollars or something small like that. And so if you want to, you can really upgrade your table and just set aside a small-ish amount of money or whatever feels comfortable for you and then ask your rental vendors or your wedding planner, hey, this is how much I want to spend to upgrade my table or talk to your florist. What can we repurpose from other parts of the wedding day to really make our sweetheart table look a lot more fancy? What can we pull in from other parts to really upgrade it, upgrade the look of it without spending any additional? So there's lots of things that you can do to really make your sweetheart table really pop among your wedding. Again, I think one of my favorite ones is probably the colorful linen, just because it's so fun and a colorful linen really makes a table pop and it does not take much more money at all. It's like the cost of like two Starbucks drinks just to make it look really interesting on camera. That is probably the easiest and cheapest thing you can do to really get a lot of bang for your buck. So anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun making it. And if you have any other ideas for the sweetheart table decor and things you can do to make it look really fun and interesting, leave it down in the comments below and I will see you guys next time. Bye.